we have to find the magnetic moment at the center of this solid sphere. For this, this sphere is rotating along the z-axis. And the magnetic moment is to be found out at the center of this sphere. For this, we consider a elementary ring there. This is the ring and this distance is smaller and this is the center of the ring and we joined this ring and this is the radius of the ring and now if this is the radius d and if this angle is theta then this radius can be written as r sin theta that is r sin theta okay now the magnetic moment for this elementary ring that is for this would be dm that is equal to we know that magnetic moment is equal to current into area so current that is elementary current di into area and current that is equal to charge by time that is dq by t into area is area enclosed by the ring that is pi d square now what is this dq dq means the charge enclosed by this ring that is dq that is equal to rho into dv here rho is the volume charge density of the sphere so read rho and dv for spherical coordinate dv is equal to r square sin theta dr d theta d phi now we put the value of dq there so dm that would be equal to rho this value dq by time that is equal to 2 pi by omega and this is pi d square and value of d is r sin theta okay now this is equal to here this pi and pi cancel out and there would be omega rho by 2 and the remaining part here omega is the angular velocity with which the sphere is rotating along the z-axis okay this r square sin square theta now this is equal to omega rho by t by 2 into there is two, 4 r square so it will be r to the power 4 and 3 sin theta so sin to the power cube theta into remaining the dr d theta d phi now the magnetic moment for the total sphere would be integration of dm so m equal to integral of dm that's equal to integral of this total term that is omega rho by 2 r to the power 4 sin cube theta dr d theta d phi that's equal to here this term is constant so it comes out on the integral and remaining r to the 4 dr into integral sin cube theta d theta into integral d phi that's equal to omega rho by t v2 the integral of r to the power 4 is r to the power 5 by 5 now what is the limit of r there for this this the radius of the sphere is a so the limit would be 0 to a that is 0 to a 0 to a and the limit of theta is 0 to pi and limit of phi is 0 to 2 pi and the integration of sin cube theta d theta into the limit of 0 to pi is 4 by 3 4 by 3 
for this integral you can watch our video on the integral of sine cube theta d theta and the link is given in the description and now the integral of d phi in 0 2 pi would be 2 pi thus this is equal to omega rho by 2 after putting the limit it will be a to the 5 by 5 into 4 by 3 into 2 pi this 2 to cancel out and this is equal to omega rho a to the 5 into 4 by 15 into pi that's equal to omega rho pi a to the 5 into 4 by 15 thus we get the magnitude of the magnetic moment that is this now we have to find the direction of the magnetic moment for this m vector that is equal to you can see that the sphere is rotating along the z axis so the magnetic moment must be along the z axis so the direction is along the z axis so vector would be m 15 into z cap thus we get the magnetic moment vector for the solid sphere